Up next on the bench is a pair of bucket seats from a 1972 Chevy three-quarter ton pickup. The customer has bought some what look to be very nice quality foam replacement kits, new covers, but there looks to be some serious damage internally on these. So I'm going to open it up and see what I run into. Antibiotic, nice tip. I got a penny, ink pen, ink pen, and a Hardy's napkin. Crap, look at the mouse nest. I need to tear away all of this foam where it's mounted to the frame. This looks like it's going to be quite a task. I need to cut this foam away from the springs. This is another ugly task. Well, with that mess swept up, I'm going to send these frames back to the owner, let him bead blast them and get them cleaned up. In the meantime, I'm going to cut new seat springs. A few years ago, a customer gave me a bunch of pre-cut sections of zigzag spring. I lopped off a few inches and I'll flatten these out, reshape the ends and put them in the seat. All right. The customer found that there was some metal too thin for sandblasting around the base, so he ended up using a torch and wire brush to clean these frames. I need to pull this new foam core over the frame, making sure that this ridge fits into this groove all the way around. I'll pull this back and make sure the high spot goes in the groove. Pinch this back together here.
I'll work this frame into the groove on the foam and press it down into place. Okay, these are ready for cover. <laughs> 